Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you're looking for the most honest how to's and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video and also leave any comments that you have for me down below. Today we're doing another swatch video and this time we're going to be focusing on the new Huda Beauty collection. They have a new Cream Glow limited edition lipstick as well as Lip Contour 2.0. Now the lip contours are not new, they're just a new and improved version of her lip contours that came out in 2016 and I'm very excited because one, I have not tried the original lip contours, and also I haven't tried any of her bullet lipsticks. I've only ever tried the liquid lipsticks. So getting into it, we'll start off with the cream glows. So I have seven here in front of me, and they're broken up into two categories. We have the bossy browns here, and then we also have the sweet nudes. And they're two separate collections, but they came out because they're both cream glows. Now these are limited edition, which is why I decided that I needed to get this video out for you guys in case you did decide to pick any of them up during the Sephora VIB sale, which is going on right now. These cream glow lipsticks are supposed to be ultra hydrating, ultra comfortable lipsticks that give a natural fuller looking pout with a dewy finish and the highlighted ingredients is maxi lip which which supports collagen hydra berry that hydrates and moisturizes sea fennel that contains the vitamins a c e and conditioning properties that help improve the texture of your lips so there are good ingredients in here for the sweet nudes versions i have honey bun sweet cheeks and habibi which all look like really promising shades for me and then i have the bossy browns and i have four of them i have boss chick hustla moneymaker and raja i realize that the bossy browns probably will suit me a little bit better now this collection has nudes for people of all skin tones however i wanted to try out a couple of the lighter shades and a couple of the darker shades just to see how they would look i do tend to like shades that are a little darker than my natural nude shade i guess i'm sorry if i'm talking super fast i have to go to work in less than an hour so i have eight of the lip contour 2.0 i have sandy beige pinky brown very berry terracotta honey beige warm brown universal red and rich brown so these are all of the shades that we're going to be swatching today so i am going to be swatching the products by themselves so the cream glow lipsticks by themselves i'll also be doing the same thing for the lip contours and then at the end i want to put a little snippet of some combos that i think go really well together so i think i'm going to start with the three sweet nudes that i have the packaging of these they're a black ombre and they fade into a shade similar Similar to the shade of the lipstick it's not exact obviously because it is a frosted faded package but this is basically what all of them look like right here it does have the company name on there and it magnetizes just like that this is nice um, I like it it's obviously a risk to have a cap that doesn't click back on but you know packaging is everything I guess <laughs> this is honey bun sweet cheeks in the middle and then Habibi on this side right here. And then I'm gonna start with Honey Bun. And what I wanna do right now is just give you guys my first reaction and how the texture feels and how it like swipes on. And then the rest are just gonna be regular swatches. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Mmm. Wait, this is a really pretty color and it's more pinky nude than I would typically go for, but I kind of like it. So right off the bat, very hydrating. It's a thicker hydrating formula. Um, I would say it feels almost like a sleeping lip mask, like a lip balm, a very thick lip balm. I still see a little bit of the pigmentation of my lips on the sides for this one, but of course this is a nude shade on me. It feels good. It doesn't feel like it's sinking into any of my lines. It kind of feels like a lipstick and lip gloss in one, and you guys know I love multitasking products. So this is actually really nice. Ooh, this is really nice. I can guarantee this is not gonna stay put under a mask because it is just so creamy and emollient. It went on really nicely and evenly, and I like it. 
I feel like formulations that are typically like this one don't tend to be this pigmented, but this gives you pretty much full coverage. It honestly looks like a lipstick and then a little bit of lip gloss dabbed on top of it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch very quickly the other two sweet nudes that I have, and I'll go ahead and go in with Sweet Cheeks. This is the one that I think is gonna really suit me in the sweet nudes. Now I did go over about twice. Maybe it's because these are new and I have to kind of like break it in and it has to feel the warmth of my lips, but it doesn't take a lot. I just keep putting it on because it feels really good, <laughs> but it doesn't take a lot to get that full, full coverage. God, these feel so comfortable. I'm very pleased with the way that this feels. I don't think that this would be a hassle at all to continue to apply. Now, I can't speak on what it does to my lips in the long run. I will put that in the description for you guys so you kind of understand how it affects my lips. All right, and next we have Habibi. This is one of the darker shades in the Sweet Nudes collection that I thought I would get good use out of. Ooh, it's like a berry wine shade, but it has a little tone of brown in it too. Ooh, I like this. This is more dramatic for me. Oh man, it just feels so good. Like I don't feel like my lips are suffering from these swatches because sometimes with very nude shades that I swatch for you guys, it's very difficult to remove and then my lips just feel raw. This feels nice. It feels like every time I swipe on a new shade, my lips are just getting a little bit of lip balm. Definitely go for these if you're looking for comfort over longevity. All right, so getting into the bossy browns here. Very excited, I do have the four shades right here. All right, so to start off here, we're gonna do Raja. This looks like it's gonna be a little light for me, but I think paired with a lip liner, it's gonna look very beautiful. It is light, so I think I will pair it with a lip liner when I wear this, but it's not scary. It doesn't look like creamer to me. <laughs> That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Next, we have Hustla. It doesn't look like I packed on lipstick or anything. It really does look like two different products on top of each other. All right, so this one's a bit more gray. I thought it was gonna be more of a, like a beigey nude, but this is nice. I like this too. Next up, we have Moneymaker. Oh yeah, this is my shade. I'm being a little messy with this too. I'm kind of going over my lines, but I don't think it looks bad at all. With the creamy finish, I feel like it's way more forgiving. Gives you a little bit of that plump look. Oh yeah, this is my favorite by far, by far. Because it's not too much, but it kind of just finishes up a look, you know? All right, and lastly, for the Cream Glow lipsticks, we have Boss Chick. And this is the darkest shade that I felt like I would get a lot of use out of because it's more of a brown red, a red brown. I love the look of brown lipstick, but I just don't wear it that often. However, I think this is a good in-between. This is such a pretty fall color too. Ooh, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes on this. Overall, I think they're beautiful. I think they're comfortable. I don't think that they're going to be transfer proof whatsoever. So definitely throw this thing in your bag and apply as you wish. I don't think that your lips are gonna suffer from it. The shades that I chose, honestly, is a good range for me and what I like. And I think every single one looked really nice and they all had their own unique look to them. And I will be leaving my foundation shade matches down below because I know that's a big thing people want to know if we're actually shade twins or not or if we're similar so I will be leaving all of my foundation shades that I think are going to be helpful for you in the description all right next we are going to go into the lip contours however I gotta go I gotta go to work so when I come back from work we'll finish off this video hopefully I don't look too crazy but we will see all right guys I am back from work I it's been a pretty long day I'm not gonna lie but I'm excited to get into this portion of the video let me read the description for you guys very quickly so it is a matte lip pencil with a retractable tip and ultra glide formula that effortlessly defines your lips it's vegan cruelty free and this is a step up from the original lip contours they took the formulation and made it even better they listened to everyone that had given some feedback transfer proof waterproof long lasting and up to nine hours of wear so that's pretty good typically lip liners do last a good amount of time on me has nourishing complex of soybean and licorice to naturally plump your pout while keeping it creamy and comfortable it has a mini sharpener on the other side to keep the tip pointy 
So that's cool. So I have eight shades today to swatch and in total there are 12 shades. So I have a little over half. So the tips on these are frosted tips and the outside packaging, the color of them is very similar to the actual color of the lip liner right here. And let's actually pull the sharpener out. Yeah, little sharpener right here. All right, so here are all the shades that I have today to swatch. These honestly, all look so so similar just with very slight undertone differences so i'm gonna start off with honey beige and i am just gonna line my entire lip with each one so they do go on really nicely they're not creamy creamy like the lipsticks obviously but they do go on really well and this is actually a very flattering shade i was a little worried that it was going to be too light however i do like this Next is Sandy Beige. These are very, very creamy, so the tip already is dulling down. Just so you guys know, I do think that I will be going through these pretty quickly because of that creamy formula. Next, let's go in with Pinky Brown. These shades just look so similar. This is warm brown and terracotta. On the camera, it does look a little different, but in person, they look pretty similar. So we're going in with terracotta now. Ooh, that's pretty. This is definitely a shade I would go in with with just this liner and then a gloss on top. It doesn't look like the color of the pencil. It looks a little more red than gray. All right, this next one is going to be that warm brown shade. This one definitely looks more similar on the lips and with the pencil. So let's go in with Very Berry. This one is a very dark berry shade. My lips are very dry right now. Um, please excuse the lip lines. It's so obvious how bad my lines are right now. All right, let's do Universal Red. Now the swatching is difficult right now, like in my inner lips because I'm like wiping it away and having to dry it again. So it's kind of taking a toll on that. Last shade is Rich Brown. Oh yeah, that is a true chocolate brown. This is definitely one that I need to try when my lips aren't suffering. It's very difficult to swatch this right now, but the pigmentation is definitely there. My lips just look horrible right now. So those were the Lip Contour 2.0s. Again, like I said earlier, I haven't used the original formula, so I cannot compare it to that. However, these standing on their own, they're very nice, very pigmented, they are creamy. The tip is very narrow, like very pointed, so it's difficult to line the entire lip. Because they're so creamy, I was a little afraid with some of them that the tip was just gonna break off. So it's nice to know that there is a little sharpener there. I guess they had thought about that and the creamy formula and how that would affect the point. So let's get into a couple of lip combos. I think Sweet Cheeks would look really good with terracotta or warm brown. So this is Sweet Cheeks swatch next to warm brown, and then this is terracotta underneath that Sweet Cheeks swatch. I think a lot of the liners that I purchase are gonna look really good with the bossy brown shades that I have. So I have Raja swatched right here, and then I did sandy beige underneath it, and then right above it I did warm brown again. I think that color combo would be very flattering. I'm just gonna pair everything <laughs> with warm brown. Honestly, I think the warm brown liner will be the most universal for me. So with Hustla right here, I did terracotta underneath and then I did the, what is that, rich brown on top. So I'm gonna say Moneymaker with rich brown. I think that color combo would be so, so cute. So this is Raja with um, warm brown lining it. So pretty, it just kind of elevates it. I kind of want to see what this looks like with rich brown. I'm gonna put it right over. I just look so crusty right now, I can't even really tell <laughs> if I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this is a vibe or not. It might not be, it's fine. <laughs>
That's nice. They just complement each other so well. It kind of just meshes. So this is Terracotta with Hustla. All right, you guys, that was everything for this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it and it helped you decide on anything that you wanted to pick up. If you do end up purchasing something from the collection, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys got. And also give me some combinations, like recommendations for combos for the lip liners and the lipsticks. I'm very curious and I'm very excited to play around with these. Do I think the lip liners are a must? No. Do I think the lipsticks are I'm gonna say yes because they're very unique they're very creamy but also pigmented at the same time they feel hydrating and it's just a very beautiful look obviously not gonna be transfer proof for long wearing but that's okay because going into it I know that they're not supposed to be so that's that on that I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye!